I'd like you to lift up your voice and thank him for his goodness. Thank him for his mercies. If God has been good to you, if God has shown you his kindness and his mercies, lift up your voice and appreciate him one more time. Father, I thank you. I give you all the praise. I give you all the glory. For your mercies that are new every morning. Thank you for your good plans. Thank you for your good thoughts concerning me. I return all the praise to you. Ancient of days, I thank you. Rose of Sharon, I praise you. Bright and morning star, I thank you. The covenant keeper. The one whose word never falls to the ground. I give you all the praise. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you for what you are set to do in my life this month of May. I give you praise and I give you glory. I give you praise and I give you glory. Blessed be your holy name. Waymaker, I thank you. Story changer, I thank you. Dependable God. Reliable God. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better. Amen. amen. This month, your desired laughter will manifest. Amen. The God of surprises will give you a surprise package. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. That matter you thought that has been forgotten, this month, God will open it in your favor. Amen. Make that amen louder. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. It is my new dawn era. What eyes have not seen, what ears have not heard, shall be the order of the day in my life. Congratulations. Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord and please be seated. In our midweek teaching series for the month of May 2018, our focus is on understanding the covenant of prosperity. Understanding the covenant of prosperity. In God's plan for me and you, He wants to see us prosper. I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth. God is not wishing you poverty. God is not wishing that you are a beggar. His wish above all things, say with me, all things, that you prosper. And with the little understanding I have, he said, as I have thought, so shall he stand. As I have thought, say with me, as I have thought. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you plans to prosper you. You must prosper. Amen. I say you must prosper. Amen. As I have thought, so shall it stand. As I have thought.
For I know the plans that I think towards you, plans to prosper you. Who is angry with you is not a problem. In fact, the more angry you are, the faster it comes. Who doesn't like your face can't stop it. Why? My cancer shall stand. And I will do all of my good pleasure. Some people have been feeling that um, if God is thinking about prosperity, why hasn't he made a way? Your ignorance is killing you. But today, I want to bring you out of ignorance. If you are saying amen, say better, amen. amen. God has desired it. God has wished it. But you need understanding to enter into it. David said, the righteousness of thy testimony is everlasting. He said, give me understanding. And I shall live. Give me understanding. If you lack an understanding of the covenant, there is no way you can take your heritage of prosperity. Prosperity is your heritage. Why do we call it a heritage? If you are born into a rich family, you don't need to pray. The thing is already there waiting for you. Am I saying the truth? Just like they are calling lazy Nigerian youth. And one is entering chartered flight to come back. You can't blame him. He met the team. So should he be riding Okada? Or should he be entering Kekena Pep? If your father is the richest God... You are not permitted to end up the poorest child. Am I saying the truth? Yes, Understanding is the basic thing you need. Some people you think they have understanding, they don't have it. Because anything you understand in will go with proofs. Proofs must follow your understanding. For the prosperity that God has ordained for me and you to come to pass, there is what we call the covenant. Say with me, the covenant. Can two work together except they be agreed? Can two marry except they agree? Can you marry without a covenant? You can't marry. Marriage is by covenant. Hear this? Even if you have found a sister, you, have, you first of all go and pray. Even if you have found a brother, you first of all go and pray. And finally, finally, now say, yes, you don't agree. I still think first. You don't agree. Finally, finally, you say, I don't agree. Are we understanding where I'm going? When you say, I don't agree, the person say, Me too, I don't agree too. An agreement is struck. True of us? From there, let's go and see my papa. Let's go and see my mama. Let's see my family. And finally, finally, they will appear before the altar. Do you agree to take this, ma this lady as your um, lawful wife? All the days of your life, say, yes, I do. Everybody will shout, hallelujah. Do you agree? And I say, okay, take this ring. He say, with this ring, I wear thee. I give it to you as a token of my love. Forever we shall be what? One. Everybody will clap hand. Not knowing that 
an agreement was struck that day. He too, he will do the same. With this ring, I wear thee. I give it to you as a token of my love. Forever we shall be what? One. Now, after they do that, the next thing, they give them communion. Put in what? A seal. Now, meaning forever, forever, titi lai lai, nothing goes scatteram. Now, hear me. Jeremiah 33. Just follow me. We are getting to understand what a covenant is. Jeremiah 33, verse 20. 33, verse 20. Thou said the Lord. If you can break my covenant of the day and covenant of the night and there should not be day and night in their season. Look at verse 21. Then may also my covenant be broken with David my servant that he should not have a son to reign upon his throne with the Levites and the priests my ministers. If you can break the day but it's not possible to break the covenant of the day and night. When it is time for night to appear, everything will change. When it is time for day to appear, everything will change. God is telling you that is how strong my covenant is for you. So entering into a covenant with God is to enter a sure deal that cannot be reversed. A deal that cannot be reversed. That cannot be altered. No matter how strong a winch is, it cannot alter day and night. Am I saying the truth? Can a winch alter day and night? Can a magician say, no, day you must not come. We are still working. That will let you know how strong the covenant that God has entered on your behalf is at work. He said, by myself have I sworn in blessing, I will do what? In multiplying, I will do what? In multiplying. By myself. By myself. The covenant is too strong for you to end up a non-entity. The covenant is too strong for your life to be manipulated by the wish of man. Too strong. But because you lack an understanding of it, that is why you have not embraced it. When Papa said, I cannot be poor, this is what is giving him back. It. I cannot be poor is not because you are working in an oil company or because you are working in a CBN. No! An understanding of your covenant position with God. Your covenant position with God when you understand your covenant position with God that is a God that cannot fail an agreement you pursue the kingdom of God with all zeal with all passion your passion for the kingdom is no longer normal why? you have understood the covenant this is not an issue of work no pay this is work with loaded pay Work with loaded blessing. Work with loaded increase. Serving the interest of the kingdom is also stirring up the covenant in your favor. If they obey and serve me, they will spend their years in prosperity and their days in pleasure. Let me tell you, the covenant determines how you will spend your life. The covenant determines how your life will look like. If they obey and serve me, they will spend their years in prosperity. No wonder people that serve God with understanding, they flourish. They flourish with the covenant. If they obey and serve me. Now, I like us to understand this. Marriage is an entrustment. True or false? True or false? Why do I call it an entrustment? I put my life in your hand. 
you put your life in the person's hand. The person no longer has fear whether you will put rat poison inside his food. Even though there are some witches now <laughs> that wants to get rich by all means, so they look for their wife to accomplish the goal. Some are doing it. People in the occultic world, they are doing it. Marriage is an entrustment. Why? Covenant brought you together. So you can't hide anything. Even though there are some people are still hiding some things. Am I saying the truth? But people that are hiding some things, they are not going far. The natural law of Sita Maha is preparing them. Marriage is an entrustment. You can't hide anything. You can't hide any pause. You can't hide your body. You are open to all. Why? You entrusted your life. Likewise, the person also entrusted his life. Should I tell you something? Prosperity in this kingdom is an entrustment. Can God trust you with wealth? Now there he starts. Can God trust you with wealth? There are some people now, if they see one million, what's your color? You won't see them in church again. I didn't call them one million, no. just one, one, one. Because God has what we call hatometer. Say with me, hatometer. I, the Lord, search the heart. And I examine the ray. So he knows what every man's atometer is reading. This person, the one I'm seeing, if I give him one million, he will fly out. He won't come to church again. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? I'm not joking. It's happening. That's why he will ask Angel, check his atometer. Let's see what it is he's reading. When the angel says, if you give this person one million, he will leave Lafia. He <laughs> will say, please reduce this to 200,000 so that he can still be coming to church. Am I telling you the truth? That's why God wants your heart first, not your cash. Many have been thinking it's their giving that connects them. No! Your heart. Say with me, my heart. He said, Pastor, I've been giving. In Titan, I've been giving. In this, I've been giving. No! Your heart. My son, give me your heart, not your cash. If your heart is not consolidated, your cash can work. Do you know money tests your true character? There are some people now, when money enter their hand, what they have never done before, they will begin to do. They will begin to misbehave. They will begin to misbehave. Oh my God. And the moment you begin to misbehave, you will tell angel, reduce it. The angels will reduce it. When the thing is reduced, his prayer temperature will jump up. <laughs> God will prefer to keep you than to lose you. Until he has worked on your heart. It cannot just be... The thing is there for you, but it cannot just be releasing you because you will fly out. Even as a pastor too, if you are not properly grounded and you just stumble into sudden money, you go misbehave. Haven't you heard of pastors that will tell, you that, tell their wife that I have preaching engagement so that they will just go into one hotel? Eh? It's not just, it's still happening to today. 
<laughs> There's one. He has not been to a flourishing station where cash is flowing like pure water. So they now moved him to one place. I won't call the name of the place. And funny enough, one blessed member was just blessing this guy. I call him a guy. All of a sudden, he now located one devil in the church. You hear me? Scripture says, when the sons of men gathered, Satan also was present. There are some people that are eyeing pastor now as I'm talking. <laughs> My koboko will tear your body left, right, and center. Look out. Look, go and follow me. You know, anything that is in you will attract somebody. Anything that is in you. If you are a gossiper, you will attract gossiper. If you are a prostitute, you will attract prostitute. If the thing they do you jiggy jiggy, somebody too, the thing don't they do and jiggy jiggy. <laughs> that was how <laughs> that devil connected to the pastor and he started founding himself in one hotel in the same city. So, coincidentally, the owner of the hotel knew the associate pastor. So he now told him that, um, bros, I they see your man, they come here. You say, how can you be talking that kind of thing? <laughs> I they see your man, they come here. They come with one guy. They come regular. So, he thought it was a joke. He said, okay, the next one go come, I go call you. So the man now appeared. Now hear me, in every new modern hotel, there are cameras in all the room. If they know you are evil, they set camera in your room. So what they now did, they set a camera in the room. When he was entering, the camera picked him. As he was going to the room, the camera still picked him. When he entered the room, the coven, <laughs> they put the film for, for him. So by the time he finished, as he was coming down, the pastor was there. He wanted to behave as if he didn't know the pastor. He called his name. The associate pastor called his name. So, after he was caught, he was still denying. The girl opened up. Hear me? There is no secret. Any person where they deceive you now, saying like you, when the chips are down, he go vomit everything. Go say, now that will do me, now that will do me. <laughs> Why I'm trying to tell you this? Check your hearts. You are praying, Lord bless me. God will say, deal with yourself first. Some of the money we are calling for, we are not yet ripe for it. Do you know why? You don't have a covenant that can secure you when that money comes. As far as this kingdom is concerned, the higher you go, the more consolidated your covenant. You need a covenant to shield you first. If not, there are flying Jezebel that their eye is choking like chuku chuku. They can even collect you and put it inside the pocket. So you need a covenant. At the long run, when he found out that he couldn't lie again. He was now pleading. They say it's already late. They all released him out of the ministry. Small money. So, say with me, small money. I learned something from my master. He said, before you get to that realm, begin to deal with yourself. Tell yourself, deal, deal with yourself. Because this money must come. I say it must come. Yeah. I say it must come. Yeah. But any words you didn't prepare for, you delayed it. You prepare yourself spiritually. You, you prepare your heart. That will I still follow God? 
Will my heart still be with God? Once this aspect of the covenant has been taken care of, the first place it brings us to is to have an understanding that every word God brings into your hand, there is a purpose. Say with me, there is a purpose. There is a purpose. If money enters your hand now, there is a purpose. If it does not go with a purpose, I bet you another purpose will come and come, come and propose it. Do you agree with me? Any money that enters your hand that does not have a definition, it will get another definition. That's why some people just suddenly say, I, I don't know what is taking money from my... It's because you don't have purpose. People that have dreams, that have goals of what the money should do is serving the purpose. If you don't give it a purpose, one thing will come and collect it. Either someone will just call you, Sir, just like one sent me a message this morning, Sir, I need 120,000 now. They say, If I don't pay that money before 9 o'clock, I will be sacked. I say, Let them sack you. Let them sack you. Quick, quick. <laughs> I am not fire brigade. My money is planned. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Huh? You have not called me since January. You are calling me today that if you don't drop 120, you will be sacked. I said they should sack you so that your head will be correct. <laughs> Why I'm saying this is not that uh, I cannot give one. No. You don't spend on impulse. If you spend on impulse, the implication is that you don't have what we call financial discipline. And people that don't have financial discipline, any person that can just come, I want 20,000, you drop, you are a mumu. If for Yereko has been dropping it like that, this ministry will have reached where it is. Anybody can just come, I want 50,000, Father Christmas. Money has a purpose. And one of the purpose of God putting money in your hand he said my city through prosperity shall be spread abroad meaning you must have what we call kingdom priority kingdom priority the kingdom must be a priority if God bless you now and you enter the realm of millions where will your heart be that is one number one question you must ask yourself. If God bless you now, you enter the realm of, where will your heart be? Is it towards his kingdom or towards the other kingdom? So you must define it. David said, my heart. Say with me, my heart. And my affection is set towards the house of my God. My heart. So God is checking everybody's heart. Where is this person's heart? Because scripture says, where a man's heart is, that's where his treasures are. God is checking your heart. The way I'm seeing this person, if I give him money, will his heart be towards my house? Will his words be used for reaching out? To the things of the kingdom, just like my friend Moses, brother Moses, in um, Delta State, he said, Lord, bless me. Lord, prosper me. After his three day fast, God asked him, If I bless you, what will you do? He has finished the fast, though. God didn't talk to him. That cool evening. The voice came, if I bless you, what will you do? He started writing it down. He said, Lord, I will pay my tithe. Say with me, I will pay my tithe. He said, I will give to kingdom projects. I will never take my eyes away from the poor. 
and the widows Lord, God now say are you sure he say yes God say write it down as he finished writing it down he placed his hand on it he said Lord I am through he said if you mean it then watch out as at that time he was still doing Osusu you know what they call Osusu how many of us know what they call Osusu Adashi all this, uh, you move from one shop to another you collect a uh, two naira you write you sign that's what he was doing after that month it's like the heaven just changed 360 degrees God sent just one person say with me one person when God wants to change your story he doesn't send too many people one person one person just came and met him that there is a job somewhere I want you to come and do this job even though you don't know it we will bring some people that will help you to do it that was how they brought him into how to supply badge to oil companies in worry then from there the man Boko you know what we call Boko the thing just blow that man has never gone down to today as of 2005 that I knew last None of his tithes has gone below one million. The last time I visited him was in, uh, in 2000, is it 2007. That he finished one building, he didn't tell the wife. Just uh, told him that, uh, just dress up, we are going somewhere. So as they, they entered the place, the wife thought it was a hotel, not knowing that it was their new house. As they entered, they just welcome. They say, "Welcome, sir. Welcome, sir." She was still thinking that they were going to visit somebody. They just opened the door, and told the wife that this is our new house. The woman, first of all, faint. <laughs> if not, you no go faint. She first of all faint. So they found her, found her. She can't wake up. So he say, "Everything that is there." Is not following you here. He said, Walk into that room, you will see your wardrobe. Tush. Say with me, Tush. God will give you that kind of money. Just believe me. I said, God will give you that kind of money. When she entered her kitchen, she, she thought she was in a conference room. The kitchen looked like parlor. Money is good. Any person will swear for you for poverty. God punish their papa. If you are saying them and say that I'm so the wife burst into tears. He said, how come you didn't tell me? He said, I just want to surprise you. To let you know that God has blessed us. But he started with an agreement. I will pay my tithes. I will not take my eyes away from the poor. And I will not ignore any kingdom project. Now, by my close work with him, he comes... To church and he, they are doing microphone. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> the next thing he will do the following day, he will bring minimum five microphone. Choose one chair. Make mistake. Do okay. okay. Two hundred chair will land that day. His own is on the spot action. He doesn't go to inform pastor. He reacts positively. That is the kind of people God want to put the money in their hand. Not the one who will make announcements. Next Sunday we are collecting transport offering. I say, Pastor, don't come again. <laughs> you are not yet ready to prosper. I'm looking forward when this thing comes. I alone will drop buses. I'm not asking you to say amen. amen. Say your own amen. amen. 
That's what God is. If this thing drop, what will you do? Because if it is in your heart, God will put it in your hand. If it's not in your heart, it can't enter your hand. Wealth is an entrustment. And it begins with your titan. Titan consolidates your foundation for the blessing. Not where you are walking. Many have been thinking it's where they are walking. No! It's your covenant deal. When that deal is struck, watch out. There will be a rioting in the, in the realm of the spirit. The kind of favor you have never seen before will begin to trail you. Your prosperity help us will rise up. If you are saying amen, say better amen. These are the things that you need to look into so that your story will change. Some people see pain tight like a, a body. How can this money be going away from my hand? Lord, there is a need that you need to be taken care of. No! We worship God. We worship God. I remember I shared with you the other day that um, somebody connived to reduce my salary. I, I, I shared it with you. Uh, where is Pastor? Okay, so it's not, it's not here. You were there when I was saying it that day. I just suddenly discovered that what the salary is now is not up to my monthly offering in church. It's not. It's not up to my monthly offering again. That when I just when I, that that evening I was just crying on the bed, I said, and this is what someone was thinking that he would deny me. It's not up to. When I say it's not up to. What I give as monthly offering now is more than the salary. Even the one they wanted to reduce. You will be blessed. Yeah. Hear me. I have received the touch of the blessing of prosperity. You will be blessed. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Yeah. What are the fringe benefits of this covenant? Hear me. This covenant... It's a covenant of point of no return. Who have watched that film? Point of no return. Yeah, man. Now, when you enter that covenant, it does not have a reverse gear. Point of no return. Once this covenant begins to work in your life, one thing that will happen causes are averted. How can I curse whom the Lord has not cursed? Anyone making an attempt to curse you invokes a curse upon his own family because your life is under the cloud of the blessing. The blessing is a spiritual shield makes you uncursable. The blessing is a spiritual shield When this blessing comes upon you, you say, by myself have I sworn, in blessing, I will bless you. In multiplying, I will multiply you. He said, I will be an enemy to your enemies and an adversary to your adversary. That's why I laugh when enemies rise. I know another devil is about to fall. Ah, you don't need to say amen for me. Do you know why? I'm under the blessing. So when you come under this blessing, anyone that dares to curse you, the earth will burn like oven for him or for her. The heaven will close up against the person. Enter this covenant you will see. Anytime you release your tithes, Voices, say with me, voices are silenced because of you. Now, let me tell you this, and we rise up to pray. If you are a non titer you are in trouble. Do you know why I say you are in trouble? Your forefathers was they were titan, they were titan to the evil idols. I 
many of us will say here that we are not from Africa? Our forefathers, they were covenanting every month. But scripture says, when the enemy shall come, like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard. So every time you tight, you have invoked the standard. What makes an altar to have power is the sacrifice. Our tithe goes as a sacrifice to silence every evil voice. Voices crying out against you. Crying out against your family. Against your rising. It silence them. So when you are not tithing, you are giving them power. You are giving them what? Power. You are giving them strength. You are giving them power. Because if you are not doing this one, the other one must cry out. No weapon, form, no fashion against me shall prosper. Why? Your titan is speaking for you. Seeds carry voice. Sacrifice carry voice. Your titan has a voice. I remember the testimony of Jerusalem. One of his members had a cotton farm, and that cotton farm was invaded by bush animals. Let me use the word rabbits. So he went and told his pastor that I've been paying my tithes. Why would bush animals come and invade my farm? So Jerry Save followed him to the farm and he said, Lord, your son is a tighter. Wherever the devourers are, react in his favor. So they did blood of sprinkling and we are lifting up the tithe around the place the following day they came again all the animals dead dead say with me dead. dead what are the next benefits of this covenant it ensures divine health you go from strength to strength your health is now reduced you are divinely protected divinely shielded and lastly, you enjoy what we call all round safety. Psalm 20, let's read it. Psalm 20. Psalm 20. The Lord hear thee in the days of trouble. Amen. Say amen. amen. The name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Amen. Verse 2. Send thee help from the sanctuary. And strengthen thee out of Zion. Yeah. Verse 3. Remember all thy offerings. And accept thy bond sacrifice. Rise up to your feet. So loaded in your destiny. Is prosperity. <laughs> in fact the kind of prosperity God has prepared for you. He said. <laughs> I will open to you the windows of heaven to pour you out a blessing such that there will not be room enough. Which means you don't have a bank account that can swallow all the blessing and bring it for you. There will not be room enough to contain it. You are going to pray. You are going to pray. Lord, whatever is in my heart that will hinder me from entering this kind of blessing by the blood deliver my heart in the name of Jesus Christ circumcise my heart lift up your voice and pray deliver my heart whatever will deny me of entering this kind of prosperity Deliver my heart in the name of Jesus. Leronda Blege do Chatolea. Whatever will hinder me from entering this kind of blessing, this kind of fortune, this kind of wealth, this kind of abundance, Lord, deliver my heart. Lift up your voice and cry from the depth of your spirit. Deliver my heart. Deliver my heart. In the name of Jesus Christ. Deliver my heart. 
any evil root in my heart that will deny me of this lasting wealth. Deliver my heart. Deliver my heart. Nerado Shekoteriada. Deliver my heart. In Jesus' name we pray. How many of us want to enter this thing? If you are not ready, don't raise your hand up. Oh. It's not a kalu kalu game. God is not a joker. Scripture says, By two immutable things in which it is impossible for God to lie. God is not a joker. He said, By myself have I sworn. Please, as we pray this prayer, take note of today's date. Because you will begin to notice some visible changes. Mark it. I say you will begin to notice some visible changes. If it works for that man, it can work for you. I say it can work for you. Bro, Moses does not go to any oil company to tender for job. They call him tender for this job. Tender for this job. We have a job in Gabon. We have a job in Austria. We have a job in Venezuela. We want you to tender for... Where well, have you seen that kind happen? They gave him one road job in uh, Aquaiban one time. The job was uh, in the neighborhood of 300 million. But little by little, they began to see variation. Variation, variation, variation. It entered 3 point something billion. So later then I told him that, that thing we had to bring it. I said, stop! Stop! Don't give me this kind of job that you'll be telling me how we give it out. He said, take your job, take your job. I don't do this kind of year, year job that I can't pay tight. So they began to plead with him. He said, no! You don't define it. I define it. From 300 million they pushed it into three point something billion. So they began to send one local government chairman. He will come. So say, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. This is not the agreement. If this is how you want this job, take it back and give me all I've spent. I don't do such jobs. He said, I arrived where I am now by covenant. You can't scatter my covenant. Let me tell you, people that are in covenant, they protect their covenant. If you like scatter your own, I can't scatter my own. They protect it. They still came back. Oh, we are sorry for the misunderstanding. He told them that if I finish the job, I decide how I will appreciate you. Not that one, today you send one local government chairman, tomorrow you send a PDP chairman. He said, No more. No more. You are going to pray. Lord. You are not a liar. I enter into a covenant with you today to end my poverty experience. In tithing, I will tithe. In offering, I will give offering. I will not take my... Hear me? If your heart is not prepared, don't pray this prayer so that you won't say that you went and trapped yourself. In tithing, I will tithe. In offering, I will give my offering. In kingdom project, I will not take away my eyes. I will be a blessing to the poor. I will reach out to the widows. Lord, I enter this covenant with you today to end my poverty experience. If you are not ready, please don't pray. Oh. Don't pray. Oh. But if you mean it, you will see God at work in your life. Lord, I revalidate my covenant with you. I revalidate my covenant of tithing, I revalidate my covenant of offering. I revalidate my covenant of sacrifice. I revalidate my covenant of reaching out to the poor, to the needy. I revalidate my covenant with you. Just like I did before, I reinforce it again. I revalidate my covenant of tithing of giving of sacrifice in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, 
help me to walk steadily in this covenant help me to walk consistently help me to abide faithful help me to walk consistently help me to abide faithful covenant keeper and grace me afresh 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 lehandoros ikotalo rezenikariata lebondede yeroshi angata lezo lakote korean deklete covenant keeper and grace me afresh thank you father in jesus mighty name we have prayed if you are saying amen say amen, amen. as you partake of this communion today is what as you partake of this communion every root of poverty every handwriting of lack any power behind your hardship by this communion their yoke over you is broken whoever vowed a vow that you will be a beggar i decree by this communion their arrow backfire any evil author that has opened up his mouth to swallow your words i decree by this communion let that evil author scatter by thunder he said i am the one that opened it and no man can close as you partake of this communion the gates of abundance open for you in the name of jesus the gates of words open for you in the name of jesus as you partake of this communion who wherever your prosperity makers are wherever they are located let them arise in your favor let the angel god bless you move them to locate you say amen like a believer if you trust god that is not a liar mark it beginning from today lack and want fade away from your life begging fade away from your family whatever has brought you into financial mockery it ends this night in the name of jesus Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray.